Hey guys, I'm Dylan Southern from Southern Outdoors. Today I'm going to be making some homemade coon bait. Things you're going to need is cat food. I've got some friskies here. Um, you get anything that just has something related to fish, like salmon flavor, or something like that. <clears throat> you're going to need you one of these. Um, you can use it on coleslaw and stuff. I don't really, I'm not positive what the name is. Um, all it does is it just twists and crushes up the cat food. That's what we'll be using the cat food for. <clears throat> Get you some tuna. And I've got some chopped clams also. I'm just going to add a little bit as we go along. Some fish oil. Um, some jack of mackerel. A uh, funnel. Some gloves. A container to actually put your bait in. And a container to put your tuna juice in. And also some sardines and oil lightly smoked <clears throat> okay plug your thing in here get you some cat food out here you're going to want quite a bit I've got a smaller one of these so it ain't going to do as much of course but We'll make do. Okay, I've got me a good Got it chopped up pretty good here, just in a bunch of little squares here. You're done with this, but I mean, I'm just gonna do a little bit just for demonstration, because trapping in coon season is bad over. So, you should probably get a bigger bowl than what I have. I just have a little container that I'm actually gonna put it in when I get done with it, but I've not been thinking. Um, pour your cat food into your container. Alright, um, something else you can add to this that I don't have with me is fryer oil. Um, after you get done frying something, just get the oil out of it. That's when you would want to pour it in here and mix it up real good. Um, also, something you're going to want to add is uh, cherry oil. About five milliliters. Okay. And there's, yeah, I mean, that just reeks of cherries, so I mean, it don't take much at all. It's not so much the color, it's just... Just, uh, just the smell that attracts them. Um, now you want to take your fish oil. I put a pretty good decent amount of fish oil in there, so you're just going to... Soak that up real good. Mm. Yeah, now it smells like a good fish. Um, Something else that you could add if it's cold in the winter month is glycerine. It ain't going to kill them because um, you're probably going to dispatch them yourselves unless you let them go. It ain't going to hurt them much. It might just make them a little bit sick, but uh, that's going to keep it from freezing. And then the next thing you want is going to buy some sardines with the oil. Mine say lightly smokes, but I mean, I don't think it much matters. So I've got me three cans of stuff here. I mean, it's soybean oil. I mean, it's... It's all the same to me. So we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, by the way, this is the part where you're probably going to want to put on some gloves if, gloves if you don't want to smell like sardines. Mm. 
Now make sure you get all the oil and all the fish inside your container. Don't want to waste any of that yummy oil. Something that you should have is a stick. Um, mainly the purpose is, is to just get your sardines mixed up real nice. Yeah. Only you can smell this. Whew. Now it's talking to me. Now it's going to start making a real good paste. Next thing is get your little container in your funnel. Get your uh, tuna. Open that up. For some reason my tuna I opened don't have hardly anything in it, so of course it's... It's probably old, which ain't gonna make a difference to the coons, but... A little bit more fish oil. Actually, a lot more fish oil. That's what's going to make it like a paste. Mine's not going to be a very Mine's not going to be the best paste in the world just because I don't have glycerin or anything with me. But again, it's just an antifreeze, so I mean... All this is just kind of bunched up in the middle. Um, that's tuna, sardines, fish oil, cherry oil, tuna. I mean, it just gets a glossy, a glossy look on it. It's kind of in the middle, I mean... It don't smell the best, but it's... So, I mean, that's... I mean, that's going to make a good paste for you for dirt hole sets, or if you want to put it in a, in a dog-proof cone kind of trap, I mean, it's all going to work the same. So, these work real good next to rivers. I'm gonna go ahead and make another batch, but um, thank y'all for watching. And this has been another presentation by Southern Outdoors. I'm Dylan Southern. Thanks for watching us. And always remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land, and the only way to do that is through hunting, fishing, and trapping. Thanks for watching.